It's hard to believe, but there may be one thing every U.S. president has agreed on, or at least their wives have agreed on. You see, nearly every first lady in history has worn pearls. Seems like the treasure natural element has never been more popular. Well, Miranda Cohen takes us to Lebanon, where one jewelry maker is giving this rare gem a Tennessee twist. Luxurious and elegant, is there anything more beautiful than the classic pearl? Pearls have been around for thousands of years, the coveted jewel of royalty and celebrities alike. I've always loved pearls myself. My mother, grandmother wore them. Most of the first ladies have worn them. So they're, they're timeless. I mean, they've, they have a place in history. Julie Grisham is the owner of Lucky Pearl Designs on the square in Lebanon, Tennessee. And she is turning these rare organic gems into exquisite works of wearable art. You know, honestly, I'm inspired by the pearls themselves. They are just the element, it's, it's just the most beautiful. Pearls are called the gem of queens and the queen of gems. And Grisham is giving the elegant bauble a rustic flair, and the results are absolutely gorgeous. Our jewelry is kind of a twist on the classic pearl necklace. We add the leather. So everything we make has leather. It's hand rolled uh, core, leather cord but all of it's leather and pearls, so it's kind of a twist on the old classic pearl necklace. Lucky Pearl Designs' slogan is, they're not your grandmother's pearls, but her unique and one-of-a-kind creations are appealing to every generation. The look that it creates is just so unique and so different, and pearls and leather are both natural elements, so they kind of go together. And uh, they, you know, we think they create a, an amazing look. You have to keep trying to do that to stay current. You have to keep so, so your work doesn't get old or just kind of get stagnant in your designs. The Grisham's three daughters help keep them trendy, and coming to work is a real family affair. Well, my husband drills all the pearls. I run the shop and make the jewelry. My younger two daughters help in the shop when we need them, uh, when we're particularly busy during the holidays and that kind of thing. And my oldest daughter pretty much manages our social media. Julie Grisham says only about 30% of oysters will actually ever produce a pearl. She works with a pearl farm in West Tennessee to find the exact shape, size, and color she wants. Our pearls, mostly we use freshwater pearls. We do, however, use some of the South Sea and Tahitian pearls. And freshwater pearls tend to come from rivers. The Tahitian pearls come from French Polynesia, mostly the lagoons. So it's more of a still water oyster. Most of the time you think of pearls, you think of them in white or ivory. But here at Lucky Pearl Designs, they have pearls in many different brilliant hues. And it's all determined by the oyster itself. The temperature of the water, the sediment, the water flow, even the nutrients the oysters take in. Husband Barry Grisham will then painstakingly drill every pearl. Julie will masterfully thread and manipulate the pearls into necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and more. So we drill the pearls for this one so that you can actually, instead of a single piece of leather, we put two pieces of leather through it. And that way, it's, we, when we complete this, it's, you're gonna be able to move the pearls on the leather and have them remain stationary. And it's one of our most popular items. And one of her most popular items is where high fashion meets high tech. Well, one of our most popular sellers is we make a band for the Apple Watch. It's a double wrap or a single wrap band. And we use the Apple approved hardware. And not everything that is beautifully displayed on this authentic Tennessee River driftwood is made of pearls. Grisham also custom designs handmade pieces from old keys, ancient coins, and even rare treasured artifacts from all over the world. 
beautiful Byzantine crosses from the 15th to 18th century Russia. Authentic, you know, these old crosses. Apparently they were very popular back in their day because there, there are a lot of them. And they're actually, you know, artifacts. It's like wearing a piece of history. Uh, we have a, a source for some shipwreck coins that are authentic. And so from the 1600s, some of them, some of them are from the 1800s, and you can actually see the date. And these are coins, a lot of times people bring us an old coin that they've gotten from a family member that's been sitting around in a drawer, and they bring the, the piece to us, and then we incorporate it into a, a necklace or bracelet or whatever they might want. And it's not only the ladies that are sporting these unique pieces. Men are particularly interested in the shipwreck coins. I think they like that bit of history and the pirate thing. Natural elements coming together to form exquisite pieces of art and history, both rustic and rare, grace and elegance, all masterfully crafted, gifts anyone would be lucky to get. Pearls are just beautiful and natural, and when you, when you have access to, to the beautiful ones that we have, you want to do something beautiful with them.